Hey what's up everyone, welcome to Shadow of the Colossus. So just for anyone that doesn't know what this game is, essentially this is a game where you are tasked to take down 16 colossi. Colossi literally means giant, so you take down big ass things. And it's in a way kind of a puzzle game because you have to figure out how to get on them, where you can climb, where the weak spots are, sometimes you have to trick them and all different things like that. However, besides the first five minutes of the game, I have never played this game before, I have never seen anything about it. I've avoided all spoilers because I knew I wanted to play this game one day, and that day is today, and I am very excited because I hear very, very good things about this game. But yes, if you know exactly what you're doing watching this, may be kind of frustrating because kind of the point of the damn thing is for me to figure out how to do it. But trust me, we are going to do it. All I really know is the basic concept of what we're doing and kind of the controls a little bit. That is it. So yes, please don't spoil anything for me. And by the way, this opening cutscene is really good, but it's also extremely long. So if you've got any interest in it, feel free to skip ahead like 10 minutes or so, and you ain't gonna miss all too much. Besides, you know, the basic backstory here. But if you just want to see me killing giant things, feel free. Oh, by the way, yes, this is originally a PlayStation 2 game. There's also a HD re-release on the PlayStation 3. I am playing the PlayStation 2 version, but I'm playing it on emulator, so it's upscaled. So it's not going to look much different from the HD version, at least as far as I know. Okay, so what happened to that chick and why we're about to kill the Colossus is going to be explained, but be aware the dialogue is in Japanese. I'm not going to talk over it because it will just spoil it in my opinion. I don't really know why they didn't change it. I have no idea. Oh, 
You will all look. Okay, so as the weird talking mask told us, we're in the forbidden land where you can bring back the souls of the dead. She, as you might imagine, is dead as a freaking door now, and we want to revive her. In order to do that, can you guess what we have to do? Hey, you leave my horse alone, you weird shadow people. あいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあいうふうにするあい
Yes, God, I shall do your bidding. Okay, so this is basically how it works. We have a sword. The sword, as he mentioned, is magical. We can use it with the power of lights. If we hold it up to the sky, you can see there's a beam of light that comes out. The more narrow the beam gets, the more in that direction the Colossus that we are hunting is going to be. So if the light spreads out, we don't go that way. This is how we find the Colossi. That's how we do it. Now, let me explain the basics of this to you. We have a sword, we have a bow. As far as I know, you're gonna need the bow in certain situations, but again, I've only ever gotten up to the first Colossi, which is literally five minutes into the game, so that's all I really know. I've never actually used the damn thing, never really used the sword that much either. You can see the beam of light, it's not really yellow anymore, that means we're out in the proper sunlight, so we have a better guide for where we're going. Anyway, you see down the bottom right, the red bar is obviously our HP, the purple circle, the pink circle, sorry, that is our stamina gauge. The smaller that circle gets, the less stamina we have left. It's kind of like Dark Souls in the sense that you have to manage your stamina. If we run out of stamina and we're holding onto a Colossi, Colossus, whatever the hell you want to call it, we are going to run out of stamina and fall off. So it's all about stamina management. You have to take rest sometimes, get your stamina back, then carry on climbing around the damn things again. I know the basics of what we're doing here, but I've never killed a single one of them, and I've only ever seen as far as the first one. I have never, never watched any gameplay on this game. I'm so goddamn excited, you have literally no idea. And as the cameras probably try to tell us, the first one is at the very top of that, which means we're going to have to platform our way up. Now, like I say, I did play for like five minutes, so I know the basic controls here. However, if you've ever seen one of my videos, you'll know I'm absolutely god awful at all kinds of platforming, so we shall see how this goes. And yes, we do have a horse. I think the horse is called Aggro. I'm almost positive it can't die. And as far as I know, you are going to need to use the horse on certain colossi. Again, it's kind of a puzzle game in the sense that sometimes you're going to have to use your bow, sometimes you're going to have to use a sword, sometimes you're going to have to use the horse, sometimes you have to trick them. There's certain places you can and can't stand on the colossi. I don't really know. That's all I really know. Just kind of the basics. We shall see. How the hell do I get under here? Game? You ever going to tell me? There we go. I want a triangle. Okay. But yeah, anyway, from what I've been told, there are 16 Colossi in total, and apparently they get more and more batshit insane as you go along, so... I would imagine it's probably not going to be too complicated on the first one, but again, I've never killed the damn thing. I don't even really know exactly what we should be doing here. I know we stab them in weak points. That's all I really know. We shall see. Okay, so I think we can do a sort of... Oh god, that's the wrong thing to do. We can j There we go. Okay, so anyway. R1 is our grab button, triangle is jump, again you have to manage the stamina, they are literally the basic controls of platforming, we should be okay here, I think. Okay, time to take this puppy down. See, it's one of the most unique games I've ever played, and again, only from five minutes of gameplay, because it's all serene, and you're just enjoying the atmosphere, going along on your horse, and then suddenly you find a Colossus, and it goes batshit insane, the music gets all epic, and shit just kind of goes crazy. It goes from one extreme to completely the other. Now, I would assume since it told me to change weapon that I'm supposed to use this. Now, I think they have fleshy parts. I think there's one there? Maybe? I, I, am I, okay, there we go, that actually hit him. Now, I really don't think we could kill him just with the bow. I think it's literally just to get his attention. Are we got his attention, all right? Hey, buddy. You're a big fella, ain't ya? As far as I know, they get much, much bigger than this guy. Holy shit. I'm so damn excited about this, you have no idea. I'm like a kid at Christmas. I've been waiting to play this game for a long, long freaking time. Okay, so anyway, I believe if we hold our sword up to the lights, I have the power! Yeah, you can see it kind of works. Oh shit, he's gonna attack me. You can see it works the same way as. Oh, da 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 go! Go! Okay, we're fine! Anyway, that did a little bit of damage. Anyway, you hold it up to the light just the same way as you find the Colossus in the first place. You can see the beams of light get smaller when you find the weak points. There seems to be one on his left leg, and there's one on his head as well, so. We have to climb up there and attack those points as far as I know. Now, I believe they have fleshy parts, so you kind of climb up on the fur, and maybe there's platforms you can hang on and stuff like that. You see the back of these legs lowing, I believe that means that's a weak point. Funny, if you can stop moving, that will be extremely freaking handy. And step! Yeah! Now, I think the longer you hold the sword up in the air like this... Damn it, you son of a bitch! I think the longer you prepare the sword, the more damage you do when you actually step, but of course, he's gonna wriggle around and, you know, he doesn't want that to happen, as you might imagine. God, you're being a- Oh my god! Stop it! It's a bad Colossus! Yeah. Shit! 
shit. I think I was supposed to hold on to the R1. Damn it! <laughs> I think I was supposed to hold on to R1 during the cutscene. I figured my guy would hold on automatically, but no, he does not. Okay, try that again. So anyway, it seems like we're supposed to stab him. He'll fall down to one knee. Then maybe we can climb up higher and get to the heads. But the fact that this is still glowing makes me think that it's still a weak point, because from what I know, that when you stab it enough times, it will stop glowing. That means that weak point's done, and you move on to a different one. At least, I think so. Okay, I don't see it glowing anymore. Okay, now how do we get up? Climb on the arse here, goddammit. There we go. Okay, so I don't see anywhere else we can get up. Oh, there's one there. Okay, it's a ledge. Perfect, we can get our stamina back. You can see the pink circle getting very small already. Like I say, when that goes all the way down, then you have no stamina left. You can't grab or do anything. Because in the same way as Dark Souls, literally everything takes stamina. Aiming your bow, using your sword, jumping, everything. Oh, shit. Da -da 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 -da. Stop it. Okay, I just want to kill you, buddy. I just want to get one kill under my belt so I can feel like a man, goddammit. Because murdering people that don't deserve it makes me feel like a man. To be fair, I attacked you first. Hey, my arrows are sticking out of him. That's freaking amazing. I attacked you first, and I feel like kind of a dick for that. But damn it, I gotta revive my woman. At least I assume it's my woman. Maybe his, maybe it's his sister or something. That's never actually explained. At least not yet. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. But I don't really know. Okay, we're at the heads. Gotta watch my freaking stamina gauge. And da -da 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 -da, stop it. God damn it! You can see they fly around like crazy. Dude, just let me stab you in the head. And boom! That's like no damage. We did some. Okay. Get your stamina back. Now don't flail around, buddy. No, no, no. Oh shit! No, no, no. Grab on. Okay. May as well go for an attack whilst we're here. Climb down and prepare. Yeah. That was a little bit better. This guy's gonna need a lot of pokes in the head to die. I saw a bug code pass. That was amazing. Oh yeah, another thing that's really unique about this game, as far as I know, I don't think there are actually any other enemies in the game. I believe there are literally just the Colossi, which is kind of freaking crazy, and kind of awesome. Yeah, we, that was much freaking better. Okay, a couple more of those, and this guy is down. Holy shit. One more, and... Boom, son! I felt like a dick before. I feel even worse after that cutscene. It made him look so innocent. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, shit. What the hell is that? I'm gonna go on a limb here and say that was probably supposed to happen. At least I freaking hope so. Okay, that's some creepy shit. I thought she was moving for a second there. I think it was just the wind. Did I do good? So it tells us a little bit about the next one we're going to kill. In the seaside cave, it moves slowly. Raise thy courage to defeat it. Why do I get the feeling that means it's going to be scary as shit? 
Okay, I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, the best way to show your support is clicking on the like button. Helps promote the video and all that shits. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time for more Shadow of the Colossus.